Okay, let's talk about the CLEP College Mathematics exam. And the CLEP program is a fantastic program. So if you're watching this video, I assume that you are interested or studying for the CLEP College Mathematics test. And this is not to be confused with the CLEP College Algebra exam because uh, there's definitely much more uh, math that you need to know for the College Mathematics exam. Uh, but either way, if you're going for um, college credits. I mean, that's a fantastic thing. And the CLEP uh, program has been around for a long time, and you should definitely go for it. I mean, if you know a lot of math, you took a lot of math in high school, or just know a lot of math in general, then you should really, you know, study hard and really save yourself time and money, um, you know, by using these exams. Because these uh, CLEP exams um, are not available for all college courses, as you probably well know. Okay, so a little bit about my background. I'm a math teacher. I uh, teach, uh, teach middle school math, high school math, and beyond. Uh, so I definitely know what it's like to take these exams, and they're not easy. But they're definitely not, um, uh, they're, just because they're not easy doesn't mean that they're not achievable as well. I mean, these exams are designed for people, for people uh, to be able to pass them but people who have put the time and effort into them. Okay, so if you, you know, even if you know a lot of math, again, uh, you know, probably the worst thing you could do is just be like, oh yeah, I took pre-calculus in high school, I got A plus, and I don't have to worry about this. You know, uh, I'll just, it'll kind of all come back to me. If that's your, kind of your attitude, you're probably not gonna be able to, uh, you know, get the score that you need to get college credits, okay? However, if your background is good, or if it's not that strong, if you do put the work in and you have a good day on test day, you know, you really do got a good shot at getting, um, at passing this uh, exam. All right, so what I have here, a nice little pop quiz prompt for you. But before we get going in, uh, in this, let me just tell you real quick that I actually offer a CLEP College Math prep course. I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video if that's something you want to check out later. But let's get into this little practice problem. Let me explain it to you. And this is, uh, should be uh, pretty easy for you to solve, hopefully, okay? <laughs> so here I have a triangle, right? It's maybe not the perfect triangle, kind of sketched out, but so let's just say this. I have given triangle ABC, so here's my little triangle. I'd like you to find the actual angles of this triangle, okay? So here you got obviously got some variable expressions. This is X minus one, this is X, and this is X plus four. So these are the three angles of this triangle. What I'd like you to do is to find the actual angles of the triangle. So uh, if you think you can do this, I'm going to pause the video and give it a whirl. Of course, I'm going to solve it, but uh, just want to make sure that you, you know you don't want to you know you want to try it first before you see the, the solutions. Okay, so let's get into the, um, this problem here. Well, to solve this problem, uh, and this is all a pretty basic geometry problem, so this is not too difficult. So if you kind of struggle with this, then hmm, that's a good indication that you, know, you got some uh, uh, reviewing to do. But basically, we need to know a few things. The first biggest thing we need to know is that we have a triangle, and we have one angle, another angle, and another angle, right? So there's three angles in a triangle, but it doesn't make a difference what type of triangle we have. The sum of the angles of any triangle is what? 180 degrees. Okay, so definitely a real basic geometry concept. So knowing this, I can write myself a nice little basic equation. So let's take this angle, x, and then we'll add it to this angle, x minus 1. And then we'll add it to this angle, x plus 4. And we know that all, those, all three of those angles is going to add up to 180 degrees. And kind of smooth this over so we've got some more room. Okay, so we got one angle plus the other angle plus this other angle is 180 degrees. So if you understand this, understand this conceptually, then at this point, all you have to do is solve this equation, get the value for x, and then kind of plug this back in. So if you didn't kind of get this set up, but you understand at this point, you may want to pause the video and see if you can you know, finish out the problem now. Okay, so let's continue to, uh, uh, this uh, solution. So we have x plus x plus x, so this is going to be 3x. I have negative 1 plus 4, so this is plus 3, is equal to 180. Okay, so at this point I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3 from both sides of the equation, and I get 3x is equal to 177. Alright, so let me get my little calculator here. We want to go ahead and take 1 
77 and divide it by 3 and we get 59, right? So let's go ahead and just show that here. Divide both sides of the equation by 3. So x is equal to 59 degrees. So now we have to go in and finish answering this question, right? So this is x. So this is x is equal to 59. So let's kind of draw this triangle, sketch it over here real quick. So this is where x was up here. So this is 59 degrees, OK? This angle down here is x minus 1, right? So this is, what, 59 minus 1. So this is 58 degrees. And then this angle right here was uh, x plus 4. So that's going to be 59 plus 4, which will be 63 degrees. So let's go ahead and add all these up just to check 59 plus 58 plus 63 and when we add all these guys up of course we get our 180 degrees so hopefully um, most of you out there you know uh, was you know were able to solve this even if you had to stop and think about it a little bit uh, now it's one thing if you were able to just like see the question and solve it directly without any help from me but if you needed some review and you're like, oh, I get what he's saying. Oh, OK, this is not too bad. I remember this. That's a little different, right? Because you didn't, you didn't remember how to do this prom. You had to kind of had, had to listen to me review it with you. There's a big difference if you're like, you know, we have that retention right now versus, oh, I need to kind of review this. And then I'll remember how to do it. <laughs> OK, so don't you don't want to have that kind of false sense of security being like oh I understand how this is done because there's a lot of different type of problems uh, that involve algebra it's kind of a combination of algebra and geometry mixed in but again the the CLEP college math um, exam there's a lot of math on this okay but it's worth it it's worth it and what's the worst that can happen the worst thing that happens is that you don't maybe pass the test but if you're studying uh, to pass and you really put in the best effort you're just gonna up your math skills and you're gonna need them anyways for school so it's definitely a worthy endeavor but uh, let's go and wrap this video up again um, if you think you like my teaching style and you want to learn more from me I have my uh, CLEP college math test prep course I'll leave again the link in the description of this video also, my YouTube channel literally have hundreds of videos that can uh, help you uh, prepare for this exam. So you might want to check that out, and hopefully you'll consider becoming a subscriber. And if you like this video, definitely appreciate it. Thumbs up. And leave us some feedback. Um, why are you going for your CLEP College Math uh, you know, exam? Are you, did you do the CLEP College Algebra? Um, is it, you know, how did you find out about the CLEP? Uh, it's a great program and, and too often there's a lot of, a lot of people don't know about it. And I don't know if every college offers, um, uh, CLEP, uh, credits. Um, I'm not up to speed on that, but if you're, you know, if you're just coming across this video and you're kind of thinking about the CLEP, you definitely want to check into it with your school and kind of see what, you know, what you can CLEP out of, because, you know, it's not only in the area of math, there's other areas that if you're, you know, strong in, you should try to, you know, get credit for. But with that being said, I definitely uh, wish you all the best on the CLEP college math exam. I uh, hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.